Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Olmi. More Star Zelda 7 on the way. We're here at Vimarathran booking some more races for our young horses. Pretty successful season so far. I can't lie, I've been fairly happy with what I've seen. So, two of our two year olds ran green. Um, I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset about that, if I'm honest. Uh, which one of these would you run in? The first one, why not? And then grapes. I mean... You're all five furlongs, so... I guess we'll just put you and you in that one and then see if you maybe run at six, but there's not much there either. Um, huh. I guess we'll book you into a six allowance. Two grade threes at five, though that's really a little bit better than I expected. Expected. So file at seven. Okay. There's a grade two. There's a grade two. There's a handicap. Oh. What are we going to run you in? Why don't we run you in that? And then try fail at a mile. We'll just try it at a mile and see. It'll be a grade three. It won't be a big grade three, but it'll be distance checking. Uh, you're holding a mile. You're holding seven. Let's do Kandra first. Yeah, there's really nothing for Kandra. Okay, so five. Bunch of sales. Turf and Tain, we're not going in on that. Yeah, I think this might be all the races we've actually got planned for today then. A um, little bit disappointing. And yeah, we are... Whoa, we have blown up there. Ah, oh, yeah, very stressed. No point in even watching that one from beer. And sadly, that will be the fourth race of their two year old season. What a way to end it. I mean, it's. Ah, oh, it's tough. It's tough. Okay. Yeah, so Drum could have run in that race instead. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, what a little bit. A little bit bad here as well. I'm sweating badly. I don't even think we get anywhere near this one. Okay. Okay. So those two grade threes that we lined up for the two-year-olds, like, they got really sweaty. We're not... We're not an excitable horse. Mm -hmm. Neither of them are excitable horses. But, I mean... It just didn't go right. It just didn't go right. Okay. Okay. Grade 2 now then for Soother. Let's see what we can get. It's a very dreary day. There we go, Soother. Out towards the... Frontier with Surf Club, Song of Passion, and Maserat in between them. 
We've got Sprig Muslin up just in here. Can they get blocked off, please? Can we block off Sprig? Don't allow him in. Dive the inside. Lovely. Don't allow Sprig out. Into the final furlong and a half as Sprig gets free and Sprig will make a run for it. We're really not enjoying this one. Sue, they'll get absolutely mullered on this race. Sixth place, maybe falling to seventh. Sprig will take it from Girl of Pleasure. Not really what we wanted to see. Um, ooh, that's a pretty bad start to the video, guys. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, pretty bad all over there. Like, the finish five lengths back and just... Ugh. And to bump file up to a mile because of that. I mean, if file wins, then great. That opens up options. We can win grade ones maybe at a mile or seven furlongs. If we get butchered because we're at the wrong distance, then that was very costly. So we'll see. We'll test the distance. We'll see what happens next. And uh, we'll go from there. But, I mean, we're on turf. We don't know how that will affect anything. But we're on the rail as we start off on a turn. That means we can expel a little less energy than the other horses on the outside. Beautiful ballerina with Princess Dariba, Buck's Gift, Guru Girl and Sarah's Cottage at the rear. We lead in to the turn. Two and a half down to two. Here come the challengers. Final one and a half approaching. And it looks like we're extending out past beautiful ballerina. Nobody really making a move yet. Princess Dariba falling off. Who's going to make it? Who's going to come in late? Absolutely nobody. Buck's Gift trying to get that second place. A great win for Fail. Either we outclass the opposition or we are a really good mild horse. And I think it might actually be that we're a good miler. So... Having file push out of uh, seven furlongs, thanks to Soother having to come into seven. That might have uh, pushed us to a good place. Okay, so we got Kandra and we got file who can win maybe really well at a mile. Drums final race, the fourth race for a two year old. It's just an allowance race. And we get injured. 15 weeks. <sighs> 15 weeks. So if we want to race drum in her fourth race, we can... It's going to take an extra week or two after that. It's going to be 16 to 17 weeks. That's four to four and a half months. So it's the start of June. That's all what I mean. We're probably not going to be able to race before November. I don't know if there's anything in November. Okay, that might be drum season. That right there might... Just be drum season. Okay. Kandra in the Shoemaker. Try and win that grade one at a mile. Double check distances. You're still a mile. You'll still be a mile. You'll still be your seven. And you can be whatever you want to race. Five, I guess. Maybe six. You've done well at six. Okay, Fail runs a grade two the same day. Kandra wins, hopefully, her first grade one. 
on seven furlongs to the can. I guess try that on the same day. And Lurcher. Yeah, there's just nothing there at all for Lurcher. He's trying to race them all on the same day. Um, it's a grade two later. I mean, if we're going to book early, we might as well book in this grade three. Might as well book into the grade three tomorrow. Paying an early fee. Might as well just do that. Okay, Lurcher. We're just going to go race. We're not going to worry about it. We'll see what happens in this one. We should be okay. Maybe not great, but we should be okay at least. It's a decent start. So it looks like we're going to fall into this second little section. Run a wide turn. A lot of lateral movement, sadly. Not able to get up into challenging position. And then we're going to get sort of blocked off in the run and finish almost dead last really 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 poor race really poor race there for lurcher i mean we were just completely out of it there was a lot that went wrong in that race we didn't run well either but positioning wasn't very good had the outside draw, couldn't fight back to the rail to get an easy turn. Never were, you know, we were never in challenging position anyway. Um, so lots of things, lots of things there. Could tell early on that that wasn't my kind of race. Sadly. But okay, we got three here at Hollywood. Start off with Suda, then in with Sprig Muslim. That will be a tough one. Fire will be favourite for her race, and then Kandra in at that grade one level. Again, we just go, as long as we're not blown up, I will watch the race. As long as we're not very stressed, I will watch the race. Pink triangles, I'm going to skip. Otherwise, we watch all three and sue that against the rail. We will be out early in this one. Big pack at the front. Coalesce into two groups of four. Maybe. Or maybe not. But it's a decent position from us. We're not running too wide. Down to the final furlong and a half. Who's going to chase after Masrat? Sprig Muslin is there. We seem to be... Oh, we seem to be dropping off. Alarmingly, here comes Sprig. Imperian as well. We know these two horses. Sprig with a nice little run. Picks up the victory. And we finish fifth or do we fall? No, we just hold on to fifth. Uh, but not great. That wasn't where we wanted to start things. Fire though. A chance to win a grade two on the three-year-old. Will Rogers stakes. Again, we get the inside draw. It's where we want to be. Make sure we don't get blocked off, but we run the rail really well. Munaseb's there with us with beautiful ballerina back again. Morfield Lady, Princess Daniba. Uh... Immisensement, I guess. Um, interesting name. So, William Open, Andy Jin, Red Sharif. Okay, round the turn. It's us and Munza Seb. Looks like we've got a few closers on our hands about a break from the back. But we're down towards the final furlong. And nobody's going to come close here. Nobody's going to be able to make up that distance. We're going to get Sir William Open making a run of it. But it's going to be a nice win for Fail. Absolutely fantastic. That there is a grade to win. That there is a grade to win. Steel, Cox. We know they're good. New Black, we know as well. Okay. Also got a few 
other ones as well. Kandra, grade one. I'm not 100% convinced that we are a grade one horse right now, but I think we can win one. We can win one, but conditions have to play out right. And yeah, this one doesn't look to be right for me. We're going to get blocked off. We're going to make a wide turn maybe as well. Yeah, we break in towards the rail just before the turn. We might get blocked off. Looks like we're, we're stopping ourselves from being blocked off, however. Down to the final two, but now you see us dropping off there. Doesn't look like we got the pace loose ball. Mandy Shat, Mark 1, the three favourites up there. The new black just ahead of us. Here comes Cox Orange. Here comes Glider, Steelman. They're all in the mix here. Around the back. Mandy Chat with the win. Good run from Cox to get up into third, but... Yeah. Really couldn't get out the head of those horses, and we really couldn't sort of handle that fast finish. So a bunch of disappointments here. I mean, Drum, I'm, I'm just actually going to retire Drum for the season. Out the grass, you're done, you're fine. Um, file, we go back again, no. File over a mile. We've got a grade two to run, I'll ignore the grade one at Ascot. But I'm probably going to book in for that. Soother. Soother, soother, soother. Run me a mile and we'll see what you can do. It's going to be nothing at five whatsoever. It's not even going to be much at six. Unless you make a jump, I don't think there's much I can do with you, Lurcher. And that mile, I mean... I guess I'll run you back there. Uh, again, there's not much here. There's not much here. So... Suda. There we go. Suda will race... Let's see what we can get done. This is a grade three over a mile. Should suit Suda. Yeah, we haven't had the best of races recently. We're in a chasing pack of four. Okay. Interesting. Blessed Beata, Azura DiCaprio and Shopping for Love along with us. I carried you out in front. We've got Midnight Lover on our outside. Final two furlongs of the race. Do we have anything or is Suda going to fall off? Suda is falling. Suda's gone. Whoa. Yeah. Cannot compete at all. Cannot compete. You know... We're done with Suda. We're done with Suda for the day. No more this season for you. And then Fahil will be favourite. We're back down to grade two here. It's where she's winning. Good little career so far, though. Good little career. If we can stack some wins, stack some grades, get her towards that grade one level and see... I think we'll be very, very happy to see Fail do well. It's going to be a dreary day. Decent start. A weird zoom there, but a weird start is avoided. No breaking late. No weird outside sort of shenanigans. Surf Club trying to come to the rail, but we're stopping that, forcing them to run wide. 
And they go, they will cut right in front of us there. Down towards the final furlong and a half. We're going to make some progress here. It looks like Empyrean and Maserat will want to come with us. Surf Club there, not really doing enough. Going to fall right out of it. Empyrean on the outside. This is the danger horse. And here they come. And we're just going to hold off Empyrean. Good run by Fail. That is another grade two. And the more we look at it, the more we like what we see. The uptick into a mile really has helped us out. We're picking up some wins now. We're picking up prize money. We're doing really good. File now looks like a horse that can win. And if we can beat Empyrean, you know that might just mean... That we could maybe possibly do something at grade one level with file. We'll get the chance to see the cash call mile. We're up against Imperium. We're up against Mandy Chat, Cox Orange, Loose Ball. These are good, good horses. Those horses beat Kandra, beat her comfortably. Is file the class horse? Or not. I really don't know. I really do not know. Lurcher looks okay. File looks pretty good. And Kandra looks pretty good as well. So yeah, File looks just like a year younger. But pretty much the exact same horse. Hasn't won as much. Um, you know... Does have a better record, almost as good a rating, hasn't won as much money. We're two and two there. We're two and two here. I mean The lineage is Bademon and Shift. And we don't know for fail. I can't remember who her parents were. So yeah. Okay. July first, July second. Let's go to July. Let's try and book Kandra another race and then run up these three. And hopefully, hopefully, we get ourselves a win. Yeah, there's nothing for Kandra. Nothing for Kandra right now. It's a small field. Empyrean laid back again. Bint El Nadim is a little bit worked up. Mandy Chat, the only Group 1 winner, is very agitated. Okay. Okay. Should we be favourites? I don't know. Can we win? Yes. Will we win? I really don't know. Should we win? I really don't know. It's over turf. Going and everything doesn't matter to this horse. Very adaptable. But will we get bumped? Will we get pushed out of position? Will we be blocked at any point? Looks like so far we're holding mid-pack. That's not what we're used to running. Does give me a slight concern. Imperium pushing us wide. We'll come round here. And then the fight for the line. Imperium... Just going to blow us away. And Cox Orange from deep will take it again. Lovely run there. We're not outclassed. We're, we're certainly not outclassed. But we really didn't do well enough there. We didn't get off the line well enough. Probably lost about two lengths overall from our positioning. And I think that puts us right where the period is. Um, but yeah, Cox... Cox runs well. Could have had a bunch of grade ones. Instead, that's only the first. So, slightly disappointing, but we're not out of it. They seem to think Lurcher is, though. They don't think Lurcher could compete in this 
level. Oh, because Lurch has been booked at a mile. Please have a jump. Please have a jump. You're, you're not supposed to be a mile. I thought this was a three furlong. Uh, not three furlong. Grade three over five furlongs. Instead, it's a mile. Okay, let's see how competitive Lurcher seems with about three furlongs to go. So right now, we're coming towards the end of our stamina. But we're looking okay. And there we go. We're going to fall right off. No, not right off. Oh, hello. There was a little bit of fight there with Lurcher. We might come seventh. We might only not be last because Sophisticata comes out of it. But hello, Lurcher. There's a little something there. Not much, but a little something there. To be that far over distance. And still be able to do something. At the end. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. Pretty decent there. Happy again with what we've seen. Shame about Suda. Lurcher not running great either. Um, probably going to end their se season right there. If I'm honest, I'm going to end their season right there. Okay, July... I mean, I've got Lake George there. I've got the four-star Dave there. And I think we'll skip through the race. If, if, if a grade one shows up, we'll, we'll watch it. But like grade two of these two, I think we will just skip through. Oops, a file. Can you get me the win? You can't. Okay. Maserat there. Looks like we did okay, but we didn't do great. Nothing there. 6th of August. Kandra comes in second. Decent company. I find that a lot of the grade 2 races are populated by grade 1 runners that don't normally win grade 1s. So we're in that mark. We are definitely in that mark. They both ran quite well but couldn't win. I just feel like the right race could be what we're looking for. There's not much there. We'll give that one to Kandra because Fail has run a bunch of races. Still not out of it, still not like supremely tired after a very competitive three year old season. Pretty much running every month and competing or winning every month. It's quite a lot of races. That is quite a lot of races. So, yeah, eight this season. This will only be Kandra's sixth. It's a poor run for Condra. It's a very poor run for Condra. Didn't finish that far down, but that's a poor, poor run. Yeah, I wanted to see more. I wanted to see more. Okay. A mile grade one. Seven furlongs. I mean, you can run that. I mean, hell, you can both run it. Why not? We'll double book the four go. And just see what happens. Let them race against each other. I 
Alejandro comes second, fail down low. Yeah, Kandra, I mean... Kandra's definitely a mile up. Definitely a mile up. There's just nothing here at a mile. And then for fail at seven... There's nothing there again. So, we skip the month. And we'll finish out the season with these two and see exactly what we might be able to do. Interesting look. Okay. 7 furlongs. There's a 2 and a 3. Anything open up for just three-year-olds? No. Myla. Okay, we've got the BC. And that's it. Like, do we just book them both in that one? I guess we'll skip the month and then see if anything shows up towards the end of November. I hate double booking races, but I mean, a little bit extra distance in that one, but it's Colts and Geldings. That's why it didn't show up. I mean, screw it. We'll book them both in. For another race at the end. I mean, the Hong Kong mile is going to be tough. The Crunchy mile. I mean, I guess maybe. Maybe. Okay, what's this field look like? Kandra and Fail. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Highly competitive field. Kandra and Fail in this race. The BC Mile. No orders in the race. Just go for what you can get. Looks like we will be alongside each other there, though. Fail leading us out. Kandra just behind. And there we go. As they break down now, Mandy Chat will take over both our horses in the white silks. Getting into position. File seems to be in a very nice position. A little bit wide there for Kandra. A little bit wide. And then down to the final furlong and a half. Do we have anything in either of our horses? No. Absolutely nothing. Kandra just seems a better horse over a mile than Fael. Fael seems better over seven furlongs. Sadly, those races don't really exist. Um, not at this point in the season. Kandra comes fourth. I mean, we're so close to having a good horse that can win big races, but we just seem a little bit away from both of them. Yeah. A little bit away. That'll end out our season, and uh, Fahil will be absolutely wrecked there, 11 races. Um, but 
does quite well. Canberra finishes off okay as well. Not a bad season, but one from nine. Not really where we wanted to be, if we're honest. And so, there we go. Down to rank 37. Uh, we don't have a great horse. But hey, that's where I'm going to leave things with a look at these horses here. Papa Caruso is okay. It's copper and shift. Okay. Oh. You can be pow. You can be pow. Evening in with Druss and Bella. Will not make it. Not enough consistency. So for Joe. Ooh, that looked bad. And clearing house. This is Red Hand and a Merlin. We like that consistency again. Okay, so Power is the only one to make it. Yeah, okay. We got our two year olds in, Juan and Dizzy. We got Power now as a one year old. We're going to redo breeding. We might put Kandra into the breeding barn. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do. But that's for the next video. No, for now, we'll see you guys then as we head back to Villa Manetheran for some more Starters Order 7. Uh, until then, you all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.